Welcome to Community Psychology 2022, hello. I am Billy, and sometimes I offer study sessions on community psychology topics and assignments. Let me know if you have any questions. I am Rosie. I work with Billy and the professor. And I'm also here to help you understand concepts and enjoy the course. We have been Professor Sanborn's TA since 2020. TMI, Billy? Okay. Hey everybody, Professor Erica Sanborn. I am here with my cartoon friends and your TAs. This is Billy and Rosie. Hello. Billy here. They are going to help me welcome you to our community psychology courses. They have also helped me with some other resources that you will encounter this semester. So I want you to meet them up front. In particular, you will want to check out the interactive video explainer on the 10 core principles of community psychology. And that is because community psychology is a field defined by its values. So much of our course is us going through and learning those 10 core values or principles, which are spread out over most of the semester. All right, I will try to balance making this introductory video brief yet helpful. Can one of you please share the agenda if you have it? Thank you, Billy. I know that last year was not exactly what we had expected to have going on in any of our lives, you know. Our particular course, though, is one that has already been online. In fact, I have taught this online community psychology course literally more than 50 times. I do change it up every semester, you know, because I like to make sure we're connected to current realities but the course structure is solid and i tweak things as needed based on student input because i consider you all to be the experts for example all of the specific reminders i put in the course are because former students suggested those particular reminders the assignment guidelines have details based on past student input as well my hope for you is for you all to do great, and I will support your learning however I can. And, oh, yeah, go ahead, Billy. Professor Sanborn just mentioned assignment guidelines, which is an excellent transition to talk about the giant syllabus file. I'm telling you this so you do not freak out when you see the syllabus. It's not really a giant syllabus file, but, rather, the syllabus plus the assignment guidelines for both of the papers. All in one place. So please do not be alarmed when you see the giant syllabus file. It's a regular syllabus, plus assignment guidelines, all in one file. Good reminder to not freak out, Billy. I'd also like to direct you all to the textbook. It is open source and totally free. The professor has a compressed PDF file download of the textbook on her website. The link is provided in many places. I prefer the PDF version but you will find different ebook file options on the publisher's website if you prefer another version to download. Thanks, you two. What's next on the agenda? Community meeting paper, right? Yes. All right. Everyone, please read through the assignment guidelines soon. In particular, I want you to be able to propose a meeting, ideally during the first week, and I know that sounds super fast, but we have an accelerated 10-week course, and this is just you finding a community meeting to virtually attend for our class. You need to just find and propose what community meeting you want to attend for this assignment. Read the assignment guidelines, which list the common meetings that I can approve and common meetings that I cannot approve. Basically, you need to find a business meeting at which elected or appointed officials vote and make decisions about things. The default standard choice is to virtually attend your own city council or town council meeting. And by the way, you do have to virtually attend live, not watch a recording of it later. And you need to provide proof that you attended live, which you can do by emailing me a selfie of yourself immediately after your approved meeting happens or during it. Um, but just Read the guidelines. This is actually the one and only thing that you are required to sort of schedule for the course, okay? And you can pick whatever you want. If, if your own city council meeting is not happening 
at a time that is convenient for you, then you're welcome to attend anyone else's in any time zone. You can attend mine. I will post the details. I'd rather you attend your own because then the topics will make more sense to you. But you can propose anywhere based on both your interests and your schedule. If it will meet the course requirements, I will be glad to sign off on it for this major course assignment. Excuse me, professor? Yeah. Rosie, go ahead. I just want to let students know that they can attend a different meeting. It does not have to be a city council meeting. The Community Psychology Facebook page shows photos from previous meeting choices to give students ideas of what is possible too. Also, the syllabus lists many different meeting options that might be more interesting to students. Very true. Basically, read through it, but do so in week one so you can propose a meeting. The hardest part might be finding a meeting. The paper isn't so bad, I don't think. I see Billy hinting to me that I'm almost out of time. So let me get through the rest of the agenda real quick. Uh, why should you come to chat? Look, it's totally optional. It's audio and video. I will be there for the hour and for you it's drop in, okay? You don't need to ask or schedule any time. You just come during the hour if you want to talk to me. If more than one student comes to chat, then we talk as a group. Chat tends to be underutilized, but it can be an efficient way to get clarity if you're confused about anything at all. So please come in if you have questions and if you have personal things to discuss, we can set up a private chat. No worries. In fact, that, that's the last point on the agenda, isn't it? Yeah, what to do if you're struggling. Look, if you are struggling, I really hope you will come talk to me. I will do what I can to help you. If that involves strategizing how you can finish my coursework, I'm here for it. If you're not sure what resources there are at the university that you can access, I can help you find them. I mean, I don't know all solutions to all potential crises, but if you don't know where to turn, I will help you find the best resources that we can find by looking together. We are living in a bit of a new era, you know, and some of your old coping strategies might not be available to you anymore. If I can be helpful, please let me know. And on that note, thank you for watching. Links are in the video description and we will see you soon. Goodbye now. Goodbye.